Welcome back to Rolly Coaster. Now, figuring that I always talk about coasters that I haven't ridden, like all my videos are basically just listing coasters, talking about coasters that I haven't ridden, I figured it's about time we uh, talk about coasters that I have ridden, my own opinions. Not, not based off everybody else's opinions, all my own. So why don't we uh, talk about my top 10 coasters? Uh, I have a measly, this is what I put on, on my last top 10 coasters two years ago. Uh, it's a cringy, cringe. Uh, anyway, anyway, okay. So, like most top 10 videos, this is really a top 15 video, because I just, it's kind of interesting to, like, think about um, where certain things have been pushed down, and maybe a few new additions to, like, my higher rankings. So, let's t let's go into this. We got 15 is Magnum XL200, a ride that some people rank really, really high. Like, it, I feel like in the past few years, it's really gone up in popularity, and every time I ride it, it kind of grows on me. Like, my first few rides on this, I really hated it. It hurt so much. Uh, it was rough and janky. The airtime hurt. Uh, but I, they kind of fixed the lap bars this year, I think, and I just got a, like, really great run on it this year, and, uh, it's, it went up a lot in my rankings, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about the, the ones that aren't in the top ten very much. I'll, oh, yeah, so I went to Energyland, yeah, which is crazy. Um, I didn't go, go, go to, <laughs> didn't ride Light Coaster, but I went to Poland, and Formula was there. They had, it's pretty solid, pretty short, but short and sweet launch coaster for Coma Space Warp. Uh, that first launch is, you know, a solid, pretty average, but fun first launch. But the first inversion pictured here is actually really intense. Like, I, I kind of almost grayed out on it. Great inversion, l lots of nice airtime, some whippy, whippy inversions and elements, but it's a really short ride. Still just a really great ride all around, very solid all the way through. Uh, but that being said, it's shorter, not too much going for it, kind of small, but, you know, it's it d does a lot for how small it is. So that's why it's number 14. We got 13 is full throttle at Magic Mountain, a ride that I like kind of more than most people for some reason. I really it, it's it's very similar to Formula in, in that it's just really fun. Like uh, this, this is more of a fun ride than Formula even because it's just got that insane vertical loop with the the uh, the crazy hang time and a fun launch and then the weird launch, the backwards launch into the dive loop. Actually, the back row is nice. You get some nice hang time on that dive loop. Um, and then some nice airtime going up and down the top hat over the loop. So, very cool, fun ride. Uh, nothing like insane, but it doesn't do anything ex extremely well. It just has that awesome hang time moment, a fun, fun few launches, some airtime, some hang time. It's just got got a lot of fun stuff. So, that's why it's here. And moving on, we got Raptor at Cedar Point. Still my, well, is it the fourth favorite coaster at Cedar Point now? Yeah, it, it is now my fourth, unfortunately. I love Raptor. I'm a huge Raptor fan. Uh, just really solid, intense BNM invert. I love that final helix. I love all the whippy inversions. One, it's still one of the whippiest BNM inverts I'm sure out there. I haven't ridden too many, but uh, definitely one of the whippiest BNM inverts. I, I rank this much above Banshee. Banshee's like I think 20 or something on this list. But uh, yeah, Raptor just really fun ride and very solid, solid BNM. Dragster, to your point, has moved up my rankings. I finally got that freaking front row ride. This thing's always down, and I finally got the front row. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Really insane adrenaline rush. Like, it's so hard for me to com but compare this 20-second ride with these, like, you know, 45 to a minute second rides. Where? A minute second. To, si to like, 60 second rides. You know, it's hard to compare those because they offer much different things, like quality versus quantity. This thing has the quality in that the launch is just insane. It still kind of scares me. I honestly, the launch, like, launches have always scared me a lot more than heights, and it's just kind of, I don't know. But, like, you're going 120 miles per hour. It's insane. Um, and the wind in your face is crazy. There's some r really nice positive G's w when you like kind of elevate into that when you roll into that uh, 90 degree vertical spiral there. Not spiral. When, when you go up, there's positive G's. There's a lot of G, G forces going on. You know, linear and positive. Um, I, I honestly, people say there's airtime at the top. I don't remember there being any. I don't remember a lot fr from being on top. I, I drive this thing like 20,000 more times to really dissect every piece of this ride. Um, I know that the spiral, the downward spiral, has some really nice laterals where you like really. There actually there is airtime because I'm out of my seat while I'm get, getting laterals. It's just insane. So, so there you go. That's Dragster. Really insane ride, and it's gone up in my rankings. The, the front row ride really does seal the deal, and uh, maybe some more might even move it up. I don't know how good this thing really is. Well, uh, some people like Magnum are, are ranking it super high, so I I don't know. Moving on to the actual top ten, we've got Tatsu at Magic Mountain. Now this is a ride. That I haven't ridden in three years, and I got one ride on it, and I love my ride. Some people are kind of starting to crap on this ride, but I I haven't ridden it again. I still I still like it. I still you know it's still a ride that I I remember fondly of, and I love that pretzel loop. I love the gracefulness of everything. It's just a really fun ride, like more fun than anything prior, honestly. Like 
and it's just uh, really it's my my only B and M flyer. Just I don't know. I really li- li- like the side for some reason. Some people don't for some reason now. I I don't know. Uh, I can't say too much about it. The price per loop is insane. Insane positive G's kind of grayed out. Um, just a really cool ride. Um, yeah, I. It, it's been so long that I can't talk talk much else about the other other elements. The other elements just kind of flip you upside down and do cool things. And I remember just like staring at the sun. And I I I don't know. I don't know. Todd City was a cool ride. Yeah. Diamondback, Kings Island. These, these are still back to back. Todd and Diamondback. They're both. Solid B&Ms, but not the best, I'm aware. Um, it feels like Diamondback's kind of going down in the B&M Hyper rankings for, for some people for some reason. I I don't know. I I mean, this is my only B&M Hyper still, and the floater was very good. I, I found no rattle. It was, you know, it, it, kind of what I expected when I wrote it, and I still think it's a great ride, great floater every time. Um, no no cons, really. Uh, <laughs> not much else to say here. It's, it's just a bunch of airtime. I uh, don't remember much intensity in the Helix. Um, got a back row ride. It, it was just uh, just a great ride. You know, it's a very solid B&M, just, just like the past few B&Ms I talked about. Uh, opinions, right? Hey, I mean, I don't need to say too much for it to, for it to be a real good uh, explanation. Okay, anyway, I'll shut up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to shut up. I have eight more coasters to talk about. This is Timbers at Kings Island, the GCI Woody. I'd rank it just, just a little bit ahead of... Diving back, uh, really solid GCI. Honestly, like it's just insane, like how it's always doing something, always got the airtime, always got like laterals, intent. Like honestly, actually, my, my favorite elements, the very last one before I hit the brake run, it's like a little dip, a really intense positive G moment, some laterals and some airtimes, more laterals, then the brake run. It's just insane. I love that. Like wooden coasters do that better than steel coasters for whatever reason. It's just just a lot of fun. Uh, very fun GCI. The shed is stupid. We don't talk about that. Um, but we, we appreciate Mystic Timbers, and it's a very good GCI, probably a little above average for GCIs. Moving on. Cool Colon at Tato Park. Yes, this also was not on my last list. This is, I went to Ireland in 2018. It's so not that this year, but, you know, over a year ago, which is crazy. Um, didn't make a top 10 list last year, so I can talk about it here. And I already did, did, did a full review of it on my channel, so if you want to hear a lot more, um, you can go over there. It's, it's I actually spent a lot of time in that video. You should totally check it out. Um, and l- lots of airtime on this ride. Lots of laterals, intensity, kind of like Mr. Timbers, but to the extreme. It's, it's a l- little more intense, a l- little rougher, um, but definitely a more complete ride, a much longer ride than Mr. Timbers. I think, I think it's got like a whole 20 seconds extra than Mr. Timbers. Um, well, the roughness kind of took it down for me in some ways, but also ma- made it better. I don't know. Kind of weird, uh, but bigger ride, longer ride, cooler ride. Also, it's in Ireland, which is just crazy. Uh, Tato Park is definitely going to grow in, in the coming years. I'm excited to see what, what they do. And Kukulun is a great start to their lineup. So, pretty cool stuff. Moving on. Swamp Fox, Family Kingdom. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, it's still here. It's still got buzz bars. And it's still my number six roller coaster. It moved down, what, two spots since my, my last top ten in 2017. Um, but, yeah, buzz bars are the greatest things of all time. Because you get airtime. Like, like standing airtime. Like, you, you don't just... Like, your thighs don't hit your, your lap bar. Like, you stand up, and then your thighs hit the lap bar. And the standing up just really made it for me. Uh, in the This ride is pretty rough, especially towards the back. Um, e- even in the front row, like, it's pretty rough. Like I, um, But if you run in a non-wheel seat, so the, the middle row in each car, it is super smooth and it's some insane air time. My favorite row was de- definitely second from the front. To the, like, I got 25 rides on it in, like, a few hours. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, j- just a really, really fun ride. Kind of short. Doesn't look like it does a lot, but trust me, th- th- there's a double, d- double up in there. Hey, trust me, uh, you guys probably don't trust me. You think I'm crazy for putting this up so high. Um, short ride, but the double, double up on the return trip is insane. The turn, the, the that final turn is like one of those typical, like insane flat lateral turns on old wooden coasters. I just lo- I love those things. Um, very insane ride for sure. Uh, moving on, we're <laughs> talking about Millennium Force, the Intamin Giga at Cedar Point. Everybody knows about this ride, and I still love it a lot. I love it even more than Swamp Fox, which is saying a lot, of course. Um, now, the first drop is still one of my favorite. I, I believe it's my second favorite at Cedar Point, second favorite first drop ever, I think. Um, second, yeah. Yeah, that really great airtime in the back row. This, this is definitely a back row ride for me. Every, every time I hit that first summer bank, I kind of gray out a little bit. Some people don't, some people do. I don't know. I'm kind of a weakling, and I'm usually dehydrated when I, 
I ride roller coasters because I don't spend time hydrating and I just ride roller coasters and get in line. Um, but uh, this is definitely an insane ride. Definitely, it, I just it's just so fun. It just keeps the speed all the way through. There's floater, there's ejector, there's just those overbanks, and it's just a really really fun ride. It's something I would never get bored of riding. Just a ride like that. Yeah, I mean same thing said for Swamp Fox, and that I just can ride it all day because the airtime's always insane, always different. Just this thing is just so, so consistently good and lots of fun. So moving on, Twisted Colossus at Magic Mountain, the first RMC hybrid I rode. And it is a, so much fun. All these rides are just fun. Most of them are fun. Some of them are like insane, like the, the top one, the top one or three. Or, yeah. Uh, this thing, this thing. I say this thing a lot, don't I? Uh, I'm, I'm crazy. This is. Why, why do you guys care about my opinions? You, you don't. I don't think you're just watching this because you're like, what did he screw up this time? Okay. Uh, so Twisted Colossus, dueling RMC hybrid. First drops are pretty solid, but there's just airtime everywhere. This thing has the quantity. Doesn't really have the pacing because the ride is split up in two. But it's got the quantity, it's got the airtime, it's got some solid, solid airtime moments. Some really cool dueling moments. The inversions are both great, especially the Top Gun stall. So one of my favorite inversions, I believe. I, if not the... No, my, no, it's my second favorite inversion. I, um, yeah, this thing is just so, so much fun. The, the dueling, the high five, everything's great. This is For me, this is a quantity ride. It's got the quantity, it's got the quality in that it's dueling, not really the quality and the, and the strength of airtime or anything. Not much positives, as with most RMCs, I'm pretty sure. Just a really fun ride all around. It's something I can ride all day long because it's just so fun and doesn't really wear me out, you know. So moving on is number three. Ooh, Energy Landia, Poland, Hyperion, the Intimate Hyper. This is I. Some people say it's a wing because it's like similar to Skyrush, but I don't think so. Um, definitely a really crazy ride. Um, not as high as I thought I might have ranked it. Uh, it's very close to my number two, but just a little bit under for a few reasons. So. Uh, I have not yet done a review of this ride. I'm not sure if I will. I'm, I, I mean, you, you, you guys, if you guys want it, you can let me know in the comments. But uh, reviews are hard. So the drop is very good. Definitely a really solid first drop. I kind of compare it to Steel Vengeance. It's kind of the same height and the same like steepness. It feels very similar. Um, nice tunnel up after the first drop. That first airtime hill is some really nice sustained ejector. I'm sure it isn't the best in the world. It's no Skyrush. I haven't been on Skyrush or El Toro, but like I'm sure it's nowhere near that. But it's really nice sustained ejector. Uh, probably the best like airtime hill I've been on, maybe. Um, but I, I I've been on too much. I mean, I think my number one has, might have some more some, some better airtime moments. But like it's just like a very like textbook solid sustained ejector hill. Very nice hill. And then my favorite inversion is the. Uh, what is that called? The twist and dive. When, when, when it twists and dives, twists the 180 degrees, and you get some insane laterals. Like, I would always put my hands up, and it, if you're sitting on the on a wing seat, like, I usually sat on the left back wing seat. Um, that isn't really a wing seat, is it? But it kind of is. Um, yeah, you get some insane laterals. You, you, your body, the top, top half of your body is just whipped over. It's it's so awesome. Uh, the rest of the ride, uh, it starts to get a little bit rattly towards the second half. Like, the, uh, there's like the two standing laterals, which are great, more great lateral moments. I I love me some of those whippy lateral transitions. This was awesome. This ride kind of like got me addicted to those. I got like I don't know, like, like ten rides on this. It was just it was great. Uh, that that floater hill is really weird, really unnecessary. Kind of brought the ride down a few spots for me because it was really rattly. Not much airtime. Not very comfortable. Um, same thing could be said for the, the overbank curve. It's cool, but like it doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't really give you much laterals or anything. Uh, the final airtime hills are just awesome, awesome ejectors, some laterals in there too. Just really great ride. The fountain thing is kind of an, it's, it's it's cool. You you get wet in the wing seats. It's, it's, it's funny. Um, yeah, that, that's hype here, and this ride is just insane. Uh, definitely one of my favorite roller coasters ever. And Go and check it out at Energy Land, yeah, for sure. Moving on, Maverick is your point. I still prefer it to Hyperion. That's pretty sad, I know, but this thing, it, it's got more variety. It's got more consistency, less less dead spots, I guess you could say. I mean, e even though it does slow down before the launch and it has those two kind of met inversions, it's just it it's more for me than like the the floater hill on Hyperion. It's just, it just does more. The drop is much better. It's, it's my number one first drop. Just insane ejector in the back row. You are just thrown so freaking hard out of your seat. It's just so awesome. Uh, some nice intensity. Some nice positives. Not like insane positives, but, re but really solid, like like good positives to kind of add to the rest of the ride, the, the rest of the laterals and airtime. Like the, those air those two airtime hills are really great, even though there's only two. Uh, the inversions are eh. The twisted horseshoe roll, whatever. It's, that's all right. Uh, the launch is 
definitely my favorite launch. I do prefer it to Dragsters just because it's a little bit more peppy than Dragsters is kind of. I, I don't know how, how to explain that, but it, it just feels smoother. And some awesome laterals after that. Um, laterals, the single dies are awesome. Some of my, I say awesome a lot. Some of my favorite elements ever, those twisted, no, no the single dives. I just said, the second one is just insane. You, you really, it's like you're getting hang time while you're getting laterals and it's just something else. There's like probably nothing like that anywhere else where you get laterals and you get whipped back because you're not going all the way upside down. So it's just so weird. Uh, that and the airtime hill on the ride's over. It's just got so much variety and so much to it. So much fun. I could ride it all day. I've, I, I got a lot of rides this past year. Just a really great ride. Uh, still better th th than Hyperion. Am I still my number two favorite roller coaster? Second only to what I believe to be the objective number one coaster, Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point and RMC Hybrid. Um, yeah, this thing just d it does so much so well that it's it's kind of illegal. I mean, some people say the airtime isn't the greatest and say that, you know, maybe the quality isn't that great, but who cares? I haven't been on anything that I think has much stronger airtime than this. I'm sure maybe El Toro or Sky Rush might be as stronger or whatever, but like, it just does so much good, so much airtime. The first two elements are just awesome. Those first two hills are insane. The, 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 the lateral, the lateral, uh, out, outward banks, you know, hill, that, that's insane. Um, it, inversions are fun. My favorite inversion has got to be the last one where there's that awesome lateral kick right, right out of it. Um, just a really insane ride all around. You've probably, yeah, I, I actually re reviewed this coaster like when it, when it opened last year, I believe. So there you go. Really insane ride. I bought the shirt. Um, <laughs> the, the only coaster shirt I bought, I think, or no, I bought Twisted Colossus, but that, that was a really crappy shirt. Uh, but yeah, Steel Vegas was good enough to, to buy a shirt and, Definitely my number one coaster. I don't see it getting dethroned anytime soon, if ever, unless... They, oh, really? My ringer's on? Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want some coaster reviews, just let me know in the comments. I'll do some other stuff, uh, video requests or something. I, I don't know. Talk to me. I talk to you back, you know? Uh, yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.